Hello everyone! My name is Alexey and I am the head of ePower Motors Design Department. I'm going to present you our new project that has been launched in two series. This is an electric motorcycle, Liberty. The motorcycle is designed for tourist rides, as well as for cross-country areas or for using in urban roads. In short, you can ride it on any kind of driveways. When developing this electric motorcycle, our main goals were to make it affordable and very reliable. And as for me, we made it. Well, let's get started this review. Firstly, look how big this motorcycle is. It will suit more for a tall man. For instance, I'm 1.8 meter tall. The height of the seat is 890 millimeters. This is perfect for me. The front wheel is 19 inch tall. The rear wheel is 1 inch smaller, but it has high tires. Also, we made a very high road clearance, 310 mm. And one more point is the length of the motorcycle. It is 2 meters and 100 mm. Now let's have a look at controls on the handlebars and what functions the motorcycle has. You can easily start the motorcycle by turning an ignition key. And as you can see, the display immediately turns on, and it is showing all the standard information. It is also show us battery voltage and the battery current, including discharge current and charge current, that may be useful when recuperation function is in action. To the left of the display, you can see a speedometer with arrows, which shows kilometers and miles simultaneously. To the right of the display, you can see turn signals indicators, service information about how the main functions work, and so on. There are two switches below the display. The first one can turn on reverse drive mode. When you press this switch, the motorcycle drives backwards, and the display shows an icon REV. The second switch turns on sport mode and the motorcycle can drive in this mode. Sport mode and eco mode parameters are available on the application. You can configure speed or power settings separately. On the right grip you can see a cruise control function switch. If you press it, the display shows an icon CR. Also here you can see a yellow button. By pressing it you activate a parking function. When this function is active, the engine of the motorcycle is blocked. To get back to normal mode, the button should be pressed again. When parking function is on, you can see the letter P on the display. Now we're gonna look at a new interesting function. It is analog electronic braking, using recuperation function. This is new development and we are the first who started using it in an asynchronous motor. The way this function works is as follows. The more you push, the more effective is braking, and the more is recuperation current. You can even set the controller the way that will let you don't use brakes at all when you drive down the sloping road and use this function only. If you change the pressure on the button, you get more engine braking. The motor works as a generator rather than an engine when this mode is on. This function is very useful. First of all, it lets you effectively charge the battery driving down the sloping road when you change braking force depending on how steep the slope is. And the second advantage is that this helps you to save the braking system. There are also sensors on the front and rear brakes of the electric motorcycle. They are put in action when braking and turn the engine to the generator mode as well. On the left grip here we have a standard motorcycle switch. It turns on running lights, or in other words, parking lights. And by the way, the design of these neon lights is very attractive. With this button, you can turn on dipped beam or high beam. There is also left and right turning light switch here. 
And one more button is for a standard motorcycle horn. Now let's look at other parts. Here you can see an important thing, the front trunk. Despite the small lid, the trunk is a very spacious one. You can open it with the start key, which is very useful. You can put a lot of small-sized or medium-sized things inside the front trunk. Inside the trunk you will find the charge cable. It can be whether with a Euro plug or with a 110 volt plug. There is also a cable for connecting the controller to a PC. And a high-quality aluminum mobile phone holder with a past USB charger. To charge the electric motorcycle you only need a power cord, because the charger is mounted inside the motorcycle. To charge the electric motorcycle you have to take the charging power cord and connect it to the motorcycle charger's socket, which you can find on the left side of the front protective cover. For charging the motorcycle you need a usual 220 volt socket or 110 volt one. You can use those you have in your apartment or in your house. The display shows you that the charging is in progress, even when the motorcycle is off. Thanks to this, you can always check the charging status. Right after you've plugged in, the charger checks if the battery is ready for charging. During this process, there is a flashing green light appears on the display. If everything is fine, the charging starts, and the red flashing light on the display indicates that. When you turn on the motorcycle, you can control the charging process, because it is shown on the display. The waterproof charger is mounted inside of the motorcycle. It is located on the right side and is hidden under the plastic cover. You can easily remove the cover. To do that you need just a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew only one bolt. Waterproof 10 ampere on board charger is located in an aluminum box and is strictly attached to the motorcycle frame. On the left side, symmetrically to the charger, there is a controller also hidden inside under a plastic cover. And we can call it the electric motorcycle Think Tank. It is a brand new waterproof induction controller Denzel Deco for an asynchronous motor. You can see the protection cover and there are three phase wires and two battery wires going to controller here. A little lower you can find a controller's plug to connect it to a PC. After speaking of the motorcycle's brain, let's talk about the heart of it, that is its engine. We are the first in the world who produce asynchronous motors in series, and we put them in the Liberty Electric motorcycles. In case anyone doesn't know, this type of motors doesn't have magnets at all. Such an asynchronous motor can be heated up to 180 degrees Celsius. The engine has a huge driving torque. On the motor shaft, the maximum level is 83 Newton per meter, when the phase current is 275 amperes. This is a new kind of asynchronous motor, developed by a German company ACCP using the combined winding technology, and it is produced in cooperation with Denzel Company. Unlike engines with magnets, the asynchronous one doesn't have magnet sticking, and this becomes an advantage for free coasting of the motorcycle. The free coasting of the motorcycle becomes as easy as if it was a bicycle. Now it's time to talk about the braking system of the Liberty Electric motorcycle. As I mentioned earlier, we designed the motorcycle for tourist rides, and one of the critical characteristics was a high reliability. The rear drum brake is simple and reliable. There are no cables or hydraulic parts. The braking system has just a brake lever, a steel unbreakable rod, and drum brakes. As I said before, the motorcycle has also electric braking, so the rear drum brake can work forever. 
This braking system can be easily adjusted by anyone. The front wheel has hydraulic brakes with two pistons and a brake rotor of 280 mm in diameter. A standard motorcycle kickstand, due to safety, has a waterproof parking sensor that stops the engine when the kickstand is in use. In the rear part it is possible to attach quick detachable plastic luggage boxes. To do that, you need to install steel supporting brackets that are included in the kit. The brackets are set very easy. You don't need any special skills to do that. The luggage boxes shod are standard. Currently, the motorcycle doesn't need to be registered in the Russian market. It suits a category of electric moped with an engine of 3 kW indicated power and the maximum speed in the moped mode of 50 km per hour. We hope you will like our motorcycle and you'll be one of our clients.